Welcome back all my radical people. Today's video, we're gonna take the little red truck and put it in the new little workshop. Um, I got a lot going on today. Stay tuned, hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys real soon. Just like that, that's how you get the compressor. I can't pick it up and put it in my truck. I'm just not strong enough. So I got, I used a little dolly to take it out of the barn because there was only a little narrow pathway back there. And then I used a big dolly and I hooked it up on my truck. So let me just show you what I'm talking about here. So here's the little dolly. I ratcheted that thing on there, got it out of the barn. Then I hooked it up to the big orange dolly. I tried to lift it in my truck, but I still couldn't. So this is what I came up with. And I towed it from down there by the barn. And now we're gonna finish it off and take it to the white, the, the white tarp. See, this is what I'm looking at. I'm pretty stoked that it worked. It's pretty hot out here today, um, but it worked. Got about 20 more feet left. Got a bunch of stuff going on today, so I'll take you guys along and hopefully you enjoy the video of just the stuff that I get done around here sometimes during the day so all right here's where it's going and I'll see you guys as soon as I hit the next project all right here she is this is what I drug up out of the barn one of those old gas station wish I knew where that was but I don't but push it and we're going to fill the tires up on the Nissan and then we're going to try and put the Nissan inside the tent. So that's what we're up to now. All right, next I'm gonna attempt to move the Nissan by myself. Remember it runs, but there's no clutch. So I'm gonna try and squeeze it this way and then hook it up to my truck, I hope. Pull it up the driveway and then coast it down into here. This is where I'm trying to put it, right there. 
So that way it'll be out of the weather. Me and Caleb start working on it. It'll be a nice place to work on it. And then I put my trailer back in there and yada yada yada. So first I'm going to climb in here and pull the e-brake and see if it'll roll at all. And then we'll go from there because that's going to determine what I have to do next. All right, well that wasn't too bad. And as you can see, the tow rope's already connected. So my boy, he's sick, so I'm gonna try and do this on my own. I don't know how it's gonna go, so I'll definitely set up the camera because I'm gonna do two trucks with one person. I can't believe it's working so far. So my theory is I'm going to get it up there. Tie up on the driveway as I can. And hopefully coast ride it in there. Hopefully this works because uh, I just tied that down to that so this doesn't slip off and end up in the garage. Alright, I had to go eat some lunch. Now we're back. I just left the truck right here. So I'm going to, my plan is right now I'm just going to try and pull it up as high as it'll go. And then go stride down into the, into the tarp right there. So get back to it hope you guys are enjoying this video
All right, here goes nothing. Leave a comment down below. Tell me how many of you guys think I'm gonna make it in here with the first try. I only gotta go from there, get enough speed, and make it in there. Hopefully I get it on the first try, but we'll see. I'm gonna set this camera back up and I'm gonna go climb back in the truck and we'll see if we make it all the way. Well, that wasn't too bad. I almost made it. <sighs> Whew. Almost. Check it out. This last little hump right here got me right here. So now I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to mount a tire on the front of, on the back of my truck like I did last time. And then just try and push it the rest of the way with my truck so I don't know how this part's gonna go either I'm um, stay tuned <sighs> I'm nervous on this part right here the rest of it was a piece of cake for this part I'm gonna have to tie this truck to that truck with a tire in the middle and push it forward all right here's what I got going on I took the toe strap I double tied it around my bumper to my bumper of the Yoda and I hung this tire right here off the Yoda because I'm always doing something. Now I'm going to back the Yoda up into the Nissan and hopefully push it forward. And I got to tie it together because when it starts rolling downhill, I don't want it to run into all the other crap up there. So this has been quite a day. It's been pretty fun. Uh, never know what we're doing. We're always doing something. So here we go. worked man i'm a genius i didn't break anything didn't hurt anything nissan's in good condition still let me just pull the e-brake sick dude it's finally in here it's been quite a while since i needed it to get in there so it's pretty badass Sorry for my language, but uh, it's pretty badass. So I'm just gonna unhook this and oh, I gotta go to Tractor Supply and get some donkey uh, formula. So I'll see you guys as soon as we're there. Mr. Steve! Hello. So, Mr. Sam? How are you? Hey guys, here's my case of tea. A little of our favorite people, Mr. Sam right there. Yeah. So you get special privileges, you get to come in the back room.
All right, so now I'm just going to take the blower. I'm gonna blow off all the dirt back here because it's all fresh dirt. And then tomorrow when we come out here, the next day we'll check out the uh, the footprints out here because then you can see what's been crawling around. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. All right, check it out. I just blowed off all the dirt. Now it's all smooth again, and the next day or two, I'll come back out here and we'll uh, check out all the footprints on the ground out here because uh, there's some rad, interesting looking footprints that cruise through our backyard. So until then, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a long day today. Give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below um like it share it subscribe if you haven't already we really appreciate it like always hope you guys are having a wonderful day hey sam what's up buddy